Three gone on the clock, and now Carolina takes a 35 to 28 lead over the Bulldogs on the strength of DeBoer's 44 yard run. Boy, it's, it's like, who's gonna have the ball in the end zone the last before the clock runs out? That's about the only way you can figure out who's gonna win this ball game. Whoever is, has, has scored last just as the clock runs out is the one that's gonna win this thing. All right, Mackey is set to kick off. Sims back to receive it. The ball bouncing around on the ground. Sims will pick it up at the end zone to the 5, 10, 15. Cuts to the left side to the 20, to the 25, up to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, 45, bounces off a man and gets knocked down there. Wow, what a kick as Sims, Cedric Sims, a 42-yard return, gets it up to the Citadel 44-yard line. All right, dogs have it with the ball. 8.02 remaining here in the ball game. Dogs with the ball in the Citadel 44. They'll hand it off to Everett Sands. He cracks the left side for a pickup of about six before Dye brings him down. Under eight minutes remaining here in the ball game and the Gamecocks have a lead. The Dogs have got to try to get out here and tie it up. This time they'll give it off to Wimbush. Wimbush tries the left side, picks up about five on a play before he's brought down there by Brown, but it looks like enough for a first down and it is. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Ball is on the South Carolina 45 yard line. First and 10 from the 45. Dogs set him down, got a man split wide to the right. Everett Sands gets the ball, gets to the 40, 35, down close to the 30 yard line, and pick up a 15 on the play. Everett Sands for the Bulldogs. Here comes Terrence Young in with a play. He'll split wide to the right side. First and 10 from the South Carolina 30. The Dogs have been moving the ball all day. Douglas sets him down, now has a tight end on the right side. Douglas with the ball, takes, fakes, and comes to the right side, gets to the 30, to the 25 yard line, and is knocked down there after picking up six yards. Hinton and Tolbert on the tackle there. That'll make it second down and four to go. Second and four for the Dogs, as the Dogs are marching down the field against Carolina. Ball's at the 25 yard line. Jack Douglas sets him down as a man split wide to the right. Douglas gives the ball to Everett Sands. Sands gets up the middle, pick up a three on the play before he's knocked down there. But it's enough for the, or is it close to the first down? No, they say now it's third and one. Third and one to go. The dogs need a yard to get a first down and keep this drive alive. Douglas will keep it over the middle, pick up a two on the play as they unpile. It should be enough for the first down and it is. So now the dogs have it first and 10 from the South Carolina 19 yard line with under six minutes remaining. Douglas fakes, goes to the left side, turns it up, gets about five yards, and is knocked down there at the South Carolina 15 yard line. Second down, six yards to go. Pick up a four on the play, second and six. Jack Douglas sets him down as a man split wide to the right. Turns, goes to the left side, keeps, turns it upfield, and gets knocked down after a two yard gain. So now it's third down, four yards to go from the South Carolina 13 yard line. Dogs have moved the ball so well all day long. Ball on the far side, hash mark, got a man split wide to the right. Douglas, looking at a four man front, gets the ball, fakes, pitches it to Wimbush. Wimbush tries to turn the corner, bobbles the ball, he's got a fall on it. He'll fall on it on about the 21 yard line. Tough break for the Bulldogs. Tried to pitch it, tried to go to Wimbush around the right side. He couldn't handle the pitch, fumbled it, but the dogs did retain it. So now Howard Barnard is on to attempt a field goal. Three minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the game. The dogs trail here. A field goal attempt by Barnard. It'll be up and good. So the dogs get the field goal. A 37-yarder by Barnard now makes it. South Carolina 35, the Citadel 31. 3-11 remaining in the ball game. So now, what do you do? What do you do? A lot of people in the stands are scratching their head. Well, how come we went up for the field goal? Let's see what happens now. Will they try an onside kick? Howard Barnard is in to attempt the kickoff here. Maybe it is gonna be an onside kick. From the way they're lining up, the ball is on the hash mark. Instead of in the middle of the field, I'm gonna say they're going for the onside kick. Let's see. Barnard, that barefooted, right-footed kicker, ready to go. There's the kick. It bounces high into the air. The dogs have it. The dogs have it. They pull off the onside kick. Look at the sidelines. It's pandemonium over there. The Terrence Forney. Dogs have the ball with 3-10 remaining. 
Three minutes, 10 seconds remaining on the clock. Dogs have the ball and they've got it at the Carolina 41 yard line. They set him down. They give it over to Wimbush. Wimbush trying to go on the left side, pick up maybe a yard on the play, maybe two. They'll call it second down and about eight or nine yards to go. Ball is on the 40 yard line of South Carolina. Second and about nine yards to go for the Bulldogs. Douglas fakes, wants to pass, looks, 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 and it's complete to Terrence Young. A pickup of 24 yards on the play. Dogs really moving the ball here, and just time's running out. Look at the clock, look at the clock. The dogs are trying to go for it. They got to go for it. They hand the ball. No, Douglas trying to go to the right side. Gets away from a tackler. Gets up to the 15, fumbles the ball, but the dogs come up with it. Kerry Cash coming up with a fumble recovery there. Pickup of six on the play. Terrence Young out wide to the left at the 10 yard line. Dogs have got to get in for a score. A field goal would do him no good. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the South Carolina 10. Everett Sands gets the ball. Right side gets down to the four, three yard line. Everett Sands, a Sandman, down to the three. Pick up of two on the play. Reeves in on the tackle. Look at the clock. It's running out. Time is running out. The dogs have got to get in there. Second down, four yards to go. The ball, excuse me, second, it's first and goal to go on the three yard line. First and goal to go for the dogs. They fake, give it up, try to go up the middle to Everett Sands. He picks up maybe two yards on the play. Ball is on the two yard line. Ball is on the two yard line. Second down, goal to go. Ball is on the two yard line. They've got to get in for the touchdown. A field goal will do them no good. Douglas sets him down. Ball on the near side hash mark. They give it on the left side to Ray Wimbush, trying to crack the right side of the line. No. He does not get up there. It is now third down and goal to go. Third and goal. Dogs with the ball. Time is really running out. The clock is running down. And the Gamecocks lead it. They give it. They pitch it now to Wimbush. Wimbush tries the right side. No. He is just shy, he hit the pylon. I thought maybe he might be in. He was just shy of the goal line. The dogs have it, fourth and goal. The dogs are right to shy of the goal line. They are a paper clip away from six points, a paper clip away from going ahead of the Gamecocks. Dogs, set them down. It's fourth and goal to go with the ball. Setting them down is Douglas. Douglas takes it, fakes, cuts it in the end zone, touchdown Bulldogs! The dogs score! Jack Douglas saw the triple option, fake to the fullback, turned it on the left side, cut in there. Dogs lead it, 37-35, 22 seconds left. They'll attempt the extra point. The kick is up, and it's good! So with 22 seconds left, the dogs lead the Gamecocks, 38-35. to Wow, who would have thought that this could be happening? Hang on to your hat though, there's 22 seconds left, anything can happen. Anything can happen. The dogs have played under control with lots of poise, lots of pride, lots of teamwork here today at williams Bryce Stadium. The Gamecock fans are standing around, they're stunned. They don't know what's going on. Anything can happen in 22 seconds. Let's see what can happen. And of course, Pitchko's been wide open all day. Fuller's been completing the passes to him. Let's see what happens here. All right, the dogs, I'm sure, will try to kick it away, but maybe not in the air. Maybe they'll try to bounce it on the ground here. Let's see. Here's the kickoff, and it is. A little squibber hits at the 40, bounces to the 25. It'll be picked up there up to the 30-yard line and will be knocked down at the 31 as Watson returns it to the South Carolina 31, and time is running out for the Gamecocks. Can the dogs hang on? Can they do it? Is this a dream? Is it a nightmare? It's a nightmare for the Gamecock fans, I can tell you that. Dogs lead here. 38-35, all right, they set it down. First and 10 from the South Carolina 31. Fuller sets him down, drops back. He's gonna pass, he's going for all the marbles here. Goes to the left side and it is complete to Miller. Who's gonna pitch up for Dingle? Dingle's gonna try to go up the left side and he'll pick up a total of 13 yards on the play. A first down for the Gamecocks. It's first and 10 and they've got it from the South Carolina 44 yard line. 44 yard line. Fuller is gonna set it down. He's looking, he's going to go back to pass, back, back, he's going to let go of the Hail Mary down the left side, is it going to go, no, it's incomplete, eight seconds left on the clock, and the dogs have taken over 
with the ball. Look at there, you can see the Gamecocks know it's over. Some of the Citadel fans coming on. It's all over. The Dogs have upset the Gamecocks of Carolina, 38 to 35. Look at the place. Look at it. Look at the scoreboard. Time is gone. Dogs win it. 1950 was the last time this happened. Look at it. The Gamecock fans are moving. They're standing in the stands. They're stunned. They don't know what's going on. Look at the pandemonium on the field. The dogs, they were just going to come up here to Columbia, try to play respectable, try not to get beat up too bad. And all they did was come up here and have a great time and come away a winner. 38-35. The dogs have upset Carolina right here in their own backyard at williams Bryce Stadium. Fans are on the field. People are having a great time in the center of the field. Look at the players all slapping each other and having a wonderful time. This is so exciting. And all the fans that are in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, back in the end zone there in the corner, all the Citadel fans are just going crazy over there. They're high five. And look at the stand. Look at the Gamecock fans. They're not moving. They're just standing there. They're stunned. It's quiet except for the Citadel fans. Look at it. Look at all the Citadel fans over there, the Citadel band who performed at halftime and did such a great job. They, the fans are all lining the hedges there. You can see the security people trying to keep them back, trying to keep them And look at this. What a class act by the Bulldog team. They're going over to congratulate and share this victory with the Bulldog fans. Look at that. What a great classic move that is by our kids. Going over there into the corner to, to share the victory with the fans. Look at them reaching over the hedges there as they head for the locker room. Everybody's high-fiving and having a great time. What a great moment in Citadel sports history. 1950 was the last time the Dogs did it. They've done it here today at williams Bryce Stadium. The final score, the Bulldogs, 38-35. I'm just going to let you enjoy the pictures from here on out. For the Bulldog Network, I'm Ted Byrne. So long, everybody.